Meanwhile, Thanks, Volkswagen sir. car owners are taking matters into their own hands by taking the German car manufacturer to court. Volkswagen is already facing more than two dozen lawsuits in addition to facing criminal probes into its activity. Here to weigh in is Gary Gastelou, Fox Car Report editor David Dietz, is Point View Wealth Management president, and joining is Dan Henniger as well. Um, thanks to all three of you for joining us. Okay, so I think everybody in the audience was probably thinking the same thing as they were listening to that report, that all of a sudden the cars that are out there that are broken and are getting the good fuel mileage and maybe polluting the environment a little bit more uh, are worth more. I mean, if you look at Craigslist, somebody's thinking that immediately. They put up a car that said, you want a VW diesel with very low fuel consumption and high reliability. You can't buy one now until VW resolves the issues. But that could take more than a year. But you can buy mine right now, and they're trying to sell it for $19,000. Is that a wise bet? That's Do you want ridiculous. that car? That's the most it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Thing it seems right like now. that's what Absolutely. makes America great. It's an arbitrage opportunity. Hey, give them a chance. Idiot. Why not? Give them yeah. some credit. But no, I would not buy that car. Why? You because, think it's going to end up costing you more later? Well, here's the big problem. Right now, it's legal to drive these cars. Nobody's going after the drivers of these cars. Eventually, they probably will, because they are pollutants. Uh, Carbs are going to go after you. The EPA is going to go after you. While they're figuring it out, while they're trying to come up with a fix, they're letting people drive these, but eventually they're not going to be in compliance. You're, you're the car expert. Do you think that the fix is going to end up being really expensive or really hard to do? It's going to be expensive for Volkswagen. Uh, if it's a software fix, that would probably lead to less fuel economy, less power. People yeah. are going to like that. If it's a hardware fix where they add one of these diesel exhaust fluid treatments, yeah. uh, that could end up keeping the car just like it is for the driver, but it's going to cost a lot more for, for Volkswagen. It's an amazing story, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's very bad for Volkswagen in a way that we haven't seen in a long time. Well, it is. And I think we've seen some of these stories in the past when some of these auto companies got into trouble with the government for not meeting the fuel mileage standards. I mean, there is a point at which I think the regulators have to come up and take some responsibility here. I mean, they set these standards that they more or less establish in the lab, and then they expect a car like Volkswagen with a diesel engine, which is emitting both carbon monoxide and NOx, another form of pollutant, at the same time, and they're supposed to get them in balance and hit those fuel mileage standards. Yeah. VW cheated, but the okay. question is, are they realistic standards? Hang on, real quick, do you think that, I mean, stock's getting hammered. Is it a buy or does it have a long way to go? Depends what your time horizon is. Certainly it's lost about $60 billion in market cap. That exceeds what most estimates are. It's going to take longer. It's going to cost more. But ultimately we have seen the Toyotas and the GMs and other companies come back from these problems. Okay. Meanwhile, Tesla gearing up for a long-awaited launch this evening. Fans and investors have waited three years for the launch of Tesla's electric SUV. It is the Model X. It was first announced back in 2012. Gary Gasly, you got to wonder, there has been so much hype, so much anticipation. Now we see, you know, p photos of what we think it's going to look like with the Falcon doors. Too much hype for this car to live up to, or will it be fabulous? No, the numbers look great. Uh, the car is going to definitely outsell the Model S eventually. Tesla needs this car for a couple of reasons. First of all, it has to expand the brand. It has to become a brand, not just a one-car company. Second, there's competition on the way from Audi, who's going to have a crossover, an electric crossover in a couple of years. So they need to get into people's garages now before anybody has a chance to. And you know what? I think everybody who's buys a Model X. If they're happy with it, they probably will be based, based on the experience Model S owners have had. Uh, every one of these people is going to be looking to buy one of the cheap Teslas that's on the way in a couple more years. David, it, gas is cheap right now, though. It's a tough time to introduce a new electric vehicle or no? Well, so far, Tesla hasn't really been affected by that. That's not why a Tesla owner buys a car to save on gas. But nevertheless, it is interesting that we have this barbell of two stories. One, the overhyped car company. The other car company that can do no right. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Dan, Correct me think? if I'm wrong, but I don't think any of this works without that 7500 per car subsidy that an electric car gets, plus the $2,500 well, no, that they get in California. Said that these people don't care about the price of the car because they don't care about the price of gas. I mean, if you look at the price point on this car, it's really high. These are rich people the who want a status well, Tesla. The California Air Resources Board, CARB, has just put a cap on the amount of uh, rebate that uh, wealthy people can get because they're trying to push ownership down to a lower level. The people yeah. at that level haven't been buying these cars, I don't oh, think. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's everybody in Palo Alto that wants to drive their Tesla around and show off. Yeah, you're all nodding. And, anyway. not, and use the HOV lane. Yes, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> to their private jet. All right.